A quick scan of the Timberwolves roster tells you Minnesota is going back to the playoffs this season, ending a 13-year postseason drought in the process. Jimmy Butler and Carl Anthony Towns are top 15 NBA players, Jeff Teague has been an all-star point guard, and Andrew Wiggins is still a budding talent. Then there are veterans such as Taj Gibson and Jamal Crawford, who have been key contributors on winning basketball teams for years. The national conversation isn't whether the Timberwolves will make the playoffs this season, but rather how high they'll finish in a stacked Western Conference. Will Minnesota be the number 5 seed? Maybe number 4? How about number 3? Surely, this roster is too talented to fail. If only it worked that way. These guys can play Timberwolves guard Aaron Brooks said of his new teammates. But, I've been on good teams before that didn't come together, and it didn't work. So I know that there's a lot of talent and I know Thibs is a good coach. I just hope it works. There are recent examples of talented teams falling apart as quickly as they came together. In 2012, the Lakers acquired Dwight Howard and Steve Nash to pair with Kobe Bryant to form what looked to be an NBA Finals lock. Instead, Los Angeles was swept in the first round after Bryant's Achilles snapped from the pressure of carrying an underwhelming squad to the postseason. Related articles Renovation gives Target Center some life which benefits fans and players alike. Timberwolves Tom Thibodeau has one of basketball's best minds. Now, he can communicate what he knows. Timberwolves wave Emil Jefferson, Milo Trimble, Sean Williams. Charlie Walters asks Timberwolves owner Glenn Taylor, a billionaire, can you afford these players? Jimmy Butler says Timberwolves have got to want to play defense. Then there were the Brooklyn Nets, who traded for Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce in the summer of 2013, creating a scintillating starting five of Pierce, Garnett, Darren Williams, Joe Johnson and Brooke Lopez. Brooklyn won just 44 games and snuck past Toronto in seven games in the first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs, before falling in five games to Miami in the next round. No, perceived talent doesn't always equal victories. There have been questions about whether Minnesota's collection of talent features the right fits. Butler, Towns, Wiggins, and Teague all like having the ball on offense, as do Crawford and Shabazz Muhammad on the second unit. It's a common question, when talented teams come together, are there enough shots to go around? A lot depends on the attitude each player takes. Ask Tom Thibodeau, the Wolves coach and president of basketball operations. He witnessed the evolution of one of the better super teams in recent memory. Thibodeau was an assistant coach in Boston when the Celtics traded for Ray Allen and Garnett, who joined Pierce to form a big three in the summer of 2007. In 2008, the Celtics won the NBA title. I think the biggest takeaway from that was their willingness to sacrifice for each other, Thibodeau said. And when you look at Kevin, Paul, and Ray, they were all coming from teams in which they scored a lot of points, they were all, scoring, in the mid-twenties. Then once they came together, their willingness to put the team first and winning first was instrumental. That's how we won the championship. If they weren't willing to do that, it never would have happened. The Timberwolves at least sound ready to do something similar. You're probably not going to average 28 points, or whatever if you have a lot of guys who can really play, Teague said. You've got to make sacrifices to be great, and for our team to be really good, everyone is going to have to sacrifice, myself included. The incentive to do so is there. Butler, Gibson, Teague, and Crawford are all still in search of that elusive first championship. Towns, Wiggins, Mohammed, and Gorgie Dyang are in search of their first playoff appearance. We know the opportunity that we have ahead of us, if we do the right things, if we guard, we share the ball, if we rebound, don't turn the ball over, all the things that Thibs says to do, Butler said. And we know that we can win, we have the potential to do that, but we've got to go out there and do it. It's likely going to take time for the players to acclimate to one another's games on both ends of the floor. Butler noted teams don't go from as bad as Minnesota was last year to one of the toughest teams to score on overnight. 
but he's planning on holding people accountable, and Thibodeau certainly will too. But this team seems confident it's going to get there. It's going to be added to the list of success stories where talent came together, grew together and won together. They've convinced themselves of it. Wiggins said guys will find their groove and see what the team needs. Crawford said the Wolves have already established an unbelievable culture. Towns said he sees Minnesota emulating what the Warriors, who won the NBA title last year with Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Kevin Durant and Draymond Green, have done in terms of putting their egos aside for the best of the team. I see that with us, Towns said. I see us with that attitude, having that wing first attitude, and not worrying about individual success. If we keep that attitude for a season, only the man above knows how far we could go in the playoffs.